Hey guys, uh, this video is about installing a Trailtech unit, uh, Voyager Pro, on a 21KTM 500DXCF. Uh, if you've seen my some of my videos from previously on this channel, um, I've been riding an XR400. I recently upgraded to this uh, KTM in January of this year. I've done a lot of upgrades to it. I put a, a squadron on this light. I mean, on this bike. Um, I got a bunch of bash guards. I got radio protectors, and uh, what else here? I got some skid guards and uh, rear brake protector. Um, also got a, a pretty beefy skid plate on here. And um, uh, the steering stabilizer. But this video is about the trail tech unit. Um, I ran the wiring down underneath the tank. I have it strapped to this wiring harness that comes in the back here. Uh, it runs underneath the tank. And alongside the wiring harness here. Uh, and I have it come back up here and then the ground wire runs around and connects to the ground uh, bar here. The positive uh, wire I have here and if you have installed Trailtech you know that uh, they tend to sometimes drain the battery and I am not a fan of that um, which is why I don't have it connected directly to the positive battery terminal here. Uh, leaving it connected can drain the battery I found. Um, so I pulled the relay off of here for the uh, lights. There's an ECU, there's a lights relay, and there's a fan relay. And I'm gonna take this, um, this power wire for the Voyager Pro, and I'm going to solder it to this green wire, which is the um, wire that is switched with the relay. When you turn the bike on, uh, the, the lights come on with a slight delay, and I don't want the power to be supplied to the Voyager Pro immediately or when the bike is not running. So um, when this relay kicks on, by connecting it to this green wire here, the the Voyager Pro will be um, powered when the headlights come on off of this wire that, that feeds the headlights as well. Um, so this was in the center here. Um, this is the switched power from the relay. This is the always on power that um, um, comes into the relay. And then when the, if you don't know how relays work, then th this is a, a low power circuit that comes from the, the ECU. Um, this will close the, the circuit and create a connection between these two wires. So the power from the battery is then connected to this. And um, this is basically what happens. And the, the headlight comes on. So, um, um, yeah, by connecting it to this wire, then the Voyager Pro will get power when the bike comes on. So all I need to do is solder this power wire for the for the Voyager Pro to the green wire, um, put it back in the connector, pop the relay back in, and set it back in place, and then the Voyager Pro should power up um, when I fire up the bike. So I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, set up and solder that.
Okay, um, I have the trail tech connected up now, and uh, it's um, after it'll go to sleep after 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the bike real quick, and it should turn on. Voltage should change to zero when the lights go off, which it does, and it stops charging, which is what we want. Um, Charge mode. Want only with engine running now. If you're charging on the wall charger, you want to set it to charge always. Otherwise, you can plug it into the wall charger, and it won't actually charge. Um, so, yeah, there we go.